Hey, I'm back already, and you guys know I am notorious for just complaining about things and just ranting about random things, but right now I'm going to go over the five things that uh, SVU fans struggle with. Alright, the first thing that annoys me about SVU, okay? Buying DVDs. Everyone does it, or at least the addicted fans do it. You go to the store, Walmart, Best Buy, whatever, and you purchase your DVDs with your good money, or you order them online and wait for them in the mail, okay? You get your DVDs, and like any other normal human being, you're expecting bonus features, bloopers, commentary, deleted scenes, something, right? So you're, you're looking through your DVDs, I'm looking through my DVDs, bonus features, so excited. Bonus features, bonus features, commentary, deleted scenes, something, something, nothing. How hard is it to put bonus features on a DVD? You know, I'm not in DVD production or anything, but I know it cannot be that complicated. It can't be that complicated. And and I have seasons one, two, three, and five. And I'm, I refuse to buy anymore. I refuse. Because I heard that the bonus features on the other seasons, they suck. They suck. Or they're not even there. Why should I buy a DVD when I can just DVR the show? Because that's what you're telling me to do. You're telling me not to buy it, just watch it on TV because there's nothing extra that I'd want to see on here. I'm not buying any more of these. I'm not spending my good college money on DVDs when you're not giving me anything. I want to see the bloopers. Who doesn't want to see the bloopers? I want to see the screw-ups. And I know that they're there. You cannot tell me that you get through each and every episode without laughter, without somebody screwing up. And I want to see that, okay? Who can I talk to to get those bloopers and those bonus features on here? I want to see the deleted scenes. I want to see them. I do. Okay, numero dos that annoys me about SVU. Unfinished business, okay? We've all seen it. There's something that happens in the episode where the end of the episode is full of drama, all this stuff going on, and then the episode after that, it doesn't pick up where that other episode ended, and it's as if the episode before that did not even happen. For example, Wrath. Okay, I think I came in when um, I think I became a fan and started started watching at the end of season five, but I still bought the DVD from season three, and I watched Wrath. I watched the end, and I was like, OMG, okay, OMG, what's happening? Tension between Elliot and Olivia. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see the next DVD. I cannot wait to see the next episode. So you pop in the next episode, and what is it? Stolen. Has nothing to do with the app the episode before it and I understand that I understand that they're trying to move on but the other the things that Olivia was dealing with and that Elliot was dealing with her whole you know maybe you know maybe you should get a new partner or whatever she said was not even dealt with we got Craig in and his issues looking for some little boy and the episode after that is rooftop and Elliot and Olivia are back to their old selves as if nothing happened okay and maybe you know I understand sort of they're adults they don't. We don't have to address everything, and maybe they just moved on. But I thought that that the ending of Wrath was pretty serious, and Rooftop and Stolen showed me that it wasn't that serious. I guess maybe I'm just going crazy. So I let it slide. So then we get to to uh, season uh, nine, and there comes Undercover. Undercover, a very sad and just horrible episode. Not horrible, but you know what I mean. Horrible for Olivia episode. Okay and Olivia gets sexually assaulted, she has to deal with it, you can see she's having problems at the end, Elliot comes up to her, he's like, what happened in the basement? Olivia's like, nothing, and you can see Elliot's face, he knows it's a lie, and then what's the episode after that? Closet, what the, closets after that, and then we figure out that Olivia's dating some like 90 year old guy or something, her whole ordeal isn't even addressed, we never know if Elliot really knows, that takes me off. Not just as an EO fan, but just as like a fan of their partnership. Like, they never addressed whether Elliot knew or not, and that's, I don't know, it seems pretty serious to me. And I know there's episodes after that where we can see that Olivia's in therapy and yada yada yada, but I think that the whole thing was just unrealistic, and you don't, I'm sorry, you can't get over something like that that quickly. And I hate it how they even had Elliot in that scene, and then in the next episode, nothing was said as if nothing ever happened that's another thing that really i don't know it gets at me moving on to the next another thing that annoys me 
Kathleen. I'm so sick of seeing Kathleen's face. Now I know she's bipolar, and yes I feel sorry for her, and I know she's supposed to be portrayed as some kind of annoying-ish character, but I don't care. I'm sick of seeing her on the screen. Does Elliot not have other children, okay? Show somebody else. I mean, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I really could care less about the Stabler children, but if you're gonna show them, show somebody else. Is Kathleen Elliot's only child or something? What happened ever happened to like little Elizabeth? She's like the forgotten child. Did she die? And if she did, you guys need to show that because I don't remember that happening. I'm so sick of seeing Kathleen's face, it's not even funny. And they better not show it again this season because I've had it. I've made a sign to show my frustration. Alright, and that sign okay. me the fourth thing. Horrible beginnings, okay? I'm so sick of the bad acting at the beginning of the episodes. It's embarrassing and it makes my friends not want to watch it with me. I keep trying to invite people to watch SVU with me. Let's take zebras, for example. For example, you have two just bad actors in the beginning, and I know that Law and & Order and SVU are notorious for having the corny beginnings at each episode, but at least have decent actors, because I had all my friends in my room, and then they saw the whole guy on the roller blades and falling over, and the blood on his face, and just the horrible acting, and half of them left. That was embarrassing. Please, okay? And it's really sad when the uh, viewers and the fans think in their mind, whoa, I could probably act better than those people. Like, that's the sad thing, because I'm not even an actress, and I feel like that every single time I watch a beginning of an episode. So please, toss the bad actors, bring in some fresh talent, some good talent, some people who can actually act, and put them in the beginning, because sometimes the beginnings just make you want to, like, cover your eyes and be like, whoa, that was horrible, this is embarrassing. Okay, my last point. Put Elliot and Olivia together, all right? And I know that you guys predicted that because I am an eel shipper, but come on. How can I not make that a point? That annoys me. Put them together. You guys know that those two are in love and that they are meant to be together. And I know that KE shippers aren't going to be happy with this because they're KE shippers, but come on. You guys know. Quit playing games. You know deep down inside that those two love each other. So put Elliot and Olivia together. And I also know that KE shippers aren't going to be too happy with me because in my last vlog I said that KE shippers were losers. But you know what? That's not my fault. Because I went on Webster's. I went on Webster's Dictionary. I looked it up. I printed it off. So it's right here. Definition. Loser. A person that ships Kathy and Elliot, otherwise known as a KE shipper. I'm not making that up, okay? That's their definition. You know, I'm not making that up. And I seriously don't understand why KE shippers are subscribed to me. It's like, if you... You need to realize that I'm an EO shipper, like, so I'm going to say things pro-EO. But <laughs> the more subscribers, the better, I guess. But still, like... It seems like some people are subscribed to me just so they can get upset and write me messages after they watch my pro EO videos. That's all my points for now.